Decided to get into a new hobby. It's a quadcopter uh, remote control. Wanted to get into it so that I could start doing some aerial photography and video. I think, uh, as you all know, this channel. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so this YouTube channel is normally used for my travel videos, canoe videos, sailing videos, outdoor videos, and I'm going to add a new series of videos about my newfound hobby, which is aerial photography. Right now I'm down for repairs, so I thought I'd do a little video and tell you how the repairs go, tell you what I've learned about the quadcopter, and then we'll have some flying videos to come. So after a cr a crash after a crash after after a crash or a crash you go to fire up the quadcopter and only three of your props are working. One of the first things I started to notice going wrong when I would crash the quadcopter quite often is this the prop itself would slip. If you watch the black prop right there, Let's see if I can do this without breaking. See how it slips. So on impact, it would slip out of the wheel, not usually all the way off, but just so that the wheel would be have some movement or some play in it. And when that happened, the wheel would no longer meet the little uh, drive coming out of the bottom of the engine. So when it would slip down like so, the engine would spin, but there'd be no connection to the wheel. So in order to fix that, I would simply slide it back up to where it's connected to the motor's drive shaft and then push the prop back in and back in business. Uh, eventually I broke one of the wheels so you can see right there how it's cracked and what would happen is the whole thing would start to come off once it was cracked. Prop would come off, wheel would fall off and then I started to lose the little bearings. There's little bearings that sit Actually, it just came off with the prop, so you can see the little bearing there. These little bearings sit inside the housing for the prop shaft, like so, and those would start to fall off. Another problem I would have is if you had impact upside down, the engines themselves would pop up out of the little plastic clip. See this black clip? If you look at it, it's kind of pushed backwards right now. If it were properly installed, the engine, or the motor, it's not an engine, it's a motor, would be sitting below the black plastic clip. So I would pick the quadcopter up and set it back down and the prop wouldn't be spinning because I would need to push this little engine back down in place, which would then in turn, once the engine is pushed back down, all of the gears line up between the motor and the prop. The props are pretty easy. You can do it with the prop shaft in or having taken the prop shaft out you simply take the screwdriver and the screwdriver comes in the box with the blade MQX. Try not to lose the little screw. Out she goes. Off she goes. However you want to say it, there's all the bad props. And another, let's see, is that? So, so you gotta line her up with your original screw hole. And then slide it down, find the screw. Don't drop the screw. Thankfully, the new props come with their own screws as well, so you have backup. And if your holes lined up right, you get the screw. 
in the screw. Put your prop back in, always make sure you got the right direction on your prop. This being the forward direction or the front of the quadcopter facing that way, coming off of these two props. You got your one on the right, which is going to be a clockwise spinning prop. Your one on the left, counterclockwise. If you flip it upside down, or let's not flip it upside down, let's just bring it up. This is the back of the quadcopter. You got your right, which is going to be counterclockwise, and your left, which is going to be clockwise. Yeah, all right. Something like that. Here is the broken wheel. As you can see, this little piece chipped off right here. I tried gluing it back together, it's not gonna happen. So I went ahead and ordered a new wheel. So all you gotta do is match the key pattern of the wheel to the key pattern of the prop shaft. And slide it back on. Go ahead and get it down to where it spin it to line it up with the gears. So you just kinda Rotate it a little bit so that it lines up right here at the end of my thumb with the drive shaft coming off the motor and then hold it in place and push down on the top of the prop. And it should slide right back in. So there it is, spinning prop, new prop with a new wheel connected to the drive shaft. So and I decided, there you go, I just put the cover on backwards. But I haven't been flying with the cover. One thing I noticed is that the props actually spin over the cover. Which you want as much clearance underneath your props as far as I understand. So that you get good air under your props. And it's kind of just a cosmetic thing. So I haven't kept it on. I've gotten used to orienting myself with just the colors of the prop. And this little red battery clip piece. Helps make it pretty easy to figure out which way is forward. Putting the batteries in is really easy. Uh, I like to connect them first with the red. Connect the battery first. Always remember to have your remote control turned on. And then when you plug the battery in, you got to make sure that it's level, that the quadcopter is sitting level. You plug your battery in. And the blue light should go steady. Can you see the blue light steady? So then it's all balanced and it's ready to go according to level. And then you can slide the battery in. Not too hard. Uh, one of the first things I started noticing when I would crash the quadcopter was that the battery itself likes to slip. When it would slip up like that, it would throw the thing off balance. So whenever you pick it up from a crash or a hard landing, be sure to slide the battery back in, make sure the battery's there. There it is, ready to go again. Uh, I've been using the MQX to learn how to fly and eventually I want to graduate to a larger size quadcopter that can carry a GoPro camera. This is one that I found plans for online that I made out of wood, piece of oak, and some popular hardwood, poplar, popular. I'll put a motor on the end of either one of these legs and that'll create my X, which will be the next quadcopter. And it's got the platform for the GoPro. Just spent $350 online at Hobby King buying my new transceiver. This is the one that comes with the MQX, the ready to fly version, right out of the box. The one I'm building, I had to buy a remote for that or a transmitter. The receiver, of course, and then the flight controller, which is the little computer part. All the motors for each leg of wood, electronic speed controllers, and battery and then I'll go ahead and solder all that together attach it to this frame right here which I made from wood I picked up at Home Depot still need to put the top plates I'm gonna have top plates to give it a little more structural stability and then I'll solder on all the electronics I have no experience working with electronics I did burn a Jeep when I was younger and tried to fix the wiring harness so hopefully my experience with electronics is a little better this time and I can get this stick up into the air.
lucky I don't cut my face off. All right, so after putting on the new props and fixing the wheels, I realized that this prop shaft here has a nice split in it from my last crash. So you can see right there, that's where it butts up into the frame there and goes under the board. The wires, red and green, run through the arm to this little female adapter, male adapter, two-pronged and then you just match up the red and blue to the red and green this is the little housing unit just slips right on over the prop shaft and feeds into the engine another fix